verse number B of that, verse 18. I counsel you to buy from me gold. Ah, ah praise God. To buy from me gold, refined gold in fire, that you may be rich and white garments. Ah, read out from the message version. I, I know you're getting this thing now. Praise God. Are you understanding something? Lift up your right hand and say, Father, I receive strength. I receive understanding. I receive wisdom in the name of Jesus. Put your hands for Jesus. Yes. Verse 18. Quickly. Read like a preacher. Don't read like you're a borrowed man. Here is what I want you to do. Uh -huh. Buy your gold from me. Buy your gold from me. Gold that is being through the refiner's fire. Uh -huh. That you will be rich. That you'll be rich. Buy your clothes from me. Buy your clothes from me. Signed in heaven. What? You have, you have gone around. Come on, you're going so fast. Clothes what? Designed in heaven. Clothes designed in heaven. Hallelujah. He wants them to arrive at the pre Adamic state where it was still the Garden of Eden. And they were wearing clothes of gold and they were not naked. Ah. Which means, listen, 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 listen. Even in this generation, you will see people walking naked physically. That's what Jesus is saying. You don't want to be there. You don't want to be there. In the tribulation period. Is it lowlessness? Hey. You are talking about rape with people. It will happen on broad daylight, just around the clock tower. And no one is doing nothing. Lawlessness. People walking naked in the streets. Not nothing. He says, I know you are naked, but you are saying, I am still clothed. You say, you, you, you say it's okay. It, it's going to happen in this. Ah, but not when we're there. Yes, sir. Not when we're there. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. That's why you must cut the rapture. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Is God helping somebody? Yes, sir. Is God helping somebody? Yes, this is to buy your clothes from heaven. But have a design from heaven. Hallelujah. As you come for this preaching, as you come from the service, as you come, I, I, you remember yesterday we said you're, you're building a, a building. You understand? Yeah. You are living stones. Now we are saying here, there are clothes for you from heaven. You can wear them now. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I said praise God. That you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed. Look at that. Keep reading, keep reading. Verse number 18. Uh -huh. Designed in heaven. Designed in heaven. You have gone around half naked long ago. Hey, you have gone around half naked long ago. Is it in this generation where people put on, how do you call this was Tumbokat? You know those ones. Eh? This one, the, the, the whole stomach is out. And they are saying it's a new design. The leg is, the legging is like this. Don't leave me. Hello. The kachupa is even better. This one is like a skin. Those leggings. It's happening in this generation. Hello. Hello. Should we call it night dress or we should call it now day dress? I don't know if you're getting it. People don't, they, they would rather clothe themselves very well, put on jump when they're going to sleep. And when they wake up, mm. it is now their night. <laughs> no one is seeing them. Can you imagine that level of blindness? Sipa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, don't listen to people's opinion. Where did you read it? That women should come to church with it like this. And then when the power is on someone, please. <laughs> what are you protecting? Lord, this can lie a person. <laughs> Brother, the, the belt is, it has so many holes here. Mm. But you want to put the last one, the one which is very loose. I, I know. And then you begin to walk like something is not right. <laughs> we should start having pampas on you. Ooh. I don't know who I'm talking to. Maybe your, your grandchildren. I don't know. Maybe your uncles or maybe your sisters who are not here. They are receiving this message Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because when you see them, you will pray for them. Amen. You rebuke the demon of Laodicea upon them. Away from them in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm telling you, it's the place of people's opinion. Mm, Even just something. Someone lit uh, a 
no eyes. And then he put on a white cloth. And then he burned some sections. And then he burned one side of the shot. And then he burned the piano pad. And then burned the other front pad. And then put a lot of soot on it. And said, this one is $17. I said, God Almighty. You just go, bought a taxonomy shop and then you're buying it to say this one is 18,000. Hey. This generation, yeah. they call good bad and bad good. <laughs> is it is even the word damage? It doesn't even the English teach you. Mm. Imagine damage. So you come to church with damage. Laodesha. Not for me. Not for me. <laughs> I have never dreamt. Let me look, listen. These things are happening in the Western Church because our Desha is there. They are talking about revival. It's not happening. No power of God. No big. Listen, these are the motivational speakers. They, they will formulate the word. You know, God. 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 Even when it says shout hallelujah, it, it is fabricated, you understand? It, it, it's not coming from heaven. It's not carrying power. And he's of honor. No tongues, no nothing. Sabula Kaega, nothing. They would rather speak a hundred words. I need everyone is going there to perdition, to tribulation. Don't do this. Listen, someone asked me, well, why don't you dress like other preachers? Please, also preach in the gym, also come, you know, put on a t shirt, be like everyone. I said, Brother, I have a race to run. Will you run your race? Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah. I know I am helping some people. Yes, yeah, imagine, like Brother Abraham coming with the damage and it's not on protocol. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jehovah God. Lord. Yeah. I'm telling you. Just imagine I was coming in my slippers and saying, God doesn't care about the outlook. God looks at the heart. God. Lord, then shaken. It's a people's opinion. People will leave church. If you don't preach like that, people will leave church. I don't care. Even if they are too going to heaven, please allow me to preach those words. Because God does not send you for number. God loves the whole world. Hallelujah. There are many pastors, I'm not the only one. Let them go where they're supposed to be. But I'm there for those who are going up for rapture. In the name of Jesus. Listen, we'll be smart for Jesus. Amen. We'll dress on suit for Jesus. Amen. And we're doing it. Amen. We'll get the best suit for Jesus. I'm telling you, not for nobody. I'm not dressing so that someone says, Hello, yeah. how are you? No! <laughs> Jesus will. The day I come to you and say, please, your dress is good. Just know Jesus has stopped it. Go and make that kind of design everywhere. Do not retaliate. The day I say, please, you're smart. Please remember that one. And then just keep that pattern. Because the day we jump out of it, and now you're no longer putting on ties. I don't know what end. Anyway, all right. <laughs> Am I helping somebody here? Put your hands for Jesus. Are you listening to me? And you say you are laughing at people who are putting on long. I mean, please listen to me. Listen to me. Please understand that the world opinion should not come to you. Amen. Because now that means the world. It means people's opinion. Yes, Don't you see the way the world is going? Don't you see the world? The Bible says fashion will fade. Yes, there was a time. This one was glorious. This one here. It went. Bell bottom came, went. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's coming back again. It's not new, it has been there. Yes, Yet God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. I have seen that. You're listening to me. Yes, sir. Don't be driven with passion and fashion. Hallelujah. Listen to God. Listen to God. Amen. Lord, Petra is very dangerous. It's neither hot nor cold. They are coming to church, they are neither hot or cold. Do there are some people that you're careful to rebuke? They remain babies. You will never see them speaking tongues. Never. They don't believe that. They don't believe that. They don't know what leg of hands is. They don't. They even don't ever think that he's going to preach. They are all in their jobs, their shops, on the screen, on their phone. Oh, my phone. 
And they're changing covers every time. Bring your offering. Bring seed. You have never sold even your phone. If God has never touched you, <laughs> he will touch you after today. Amen. Amen. Praise God. This is a secret. If you realize they're stealing your money, they're stealing your phone, you're having issues, please, just give. Just get. It's a piece I'm giving. There is something that is God wants me to do. Oh, hallelujah. Why should they do that? Am I helping somebody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, keep reading. Keep reading. You have gone around have naked long uh -huh. enough uh -huh. and buy medicine from, from your eyes. Uh -huh. From me so you can see. Just buy medicine. <laughs> buy medicine. Go to an optician. That means there was a medical school in our nation. Yes, sir. You wouldn't have talked about medicine. Because they would not understand medicine. They knew exactly. Are you listening to me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Are you listening to me, somebody? Yeah. Uh, they had cataract in the eyes. And they needed operation now. Look at verse number 19. As many as I love, I rebuke. Are you seeing that? Yes, and I chasten. Mm. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Change your mind. Let's know. Behold, I stand at the door. And I knock. If any man hears, that kind of knocking is a pounding knocking. Like you stand near a clock tower under that bell and then you listen. That's the kind of knocking. Yes, sir. Definitely kind of sound. Jesus. How did he even get out? That means they chased him out. Yes, Please, I want to enter my church. His own church. Jesus is not in. We will not chase Jesus out. Amen. In this church, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He is always with us. Hallelujah. He told us I'll be with you till the end of age. There is no single time will ever think Jesus is not with us. He is with us always. The son of the living God. He is with us. Put your hands for Jesus, somebody. Hallelujah. Our church is very dangerous. They can put aside fasting. They can put aside every other thing that Jesus emphasized in the Bible. They can put it aside. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Praise God. Amen. That kind of charge, they will interpret the scripture wrongly. Of course, the Bible says, if you're coming with your offering to church and you realize you have, you have an issue with the brother, what does he say? What? What? What does he say? Thank you. Now, some people will say what? Some people will say what? Go! Don't even fast bring your offering. Go! But now to know that Jesus is mindful about your giving. <laughs> Said, please, I know you could have a problem, but pastor bring the giving. Mm. Put it on the altar and go and say, I'm sorry. Hallelujah. So that the blessing can follow you. Amen. Uh, but this generation oh. will not think that way. Oh. We will not think that way. Hallelujah. <laughs> we will not think that way. Ah. <laughs> are you listening to me? Yes. In this generation, they will say, the pastors are making the people rich. How can they be? How can they, they're making the people poor. How can they be poor? And they keep they keep giving. Where do they get it from? Oh. The Bible says God loves what? A cheerful giver. Mm. So we are giving with cheerfulness. Hallelujah. But even then there are those who give grudgingly. The Bible says those who give with tears, they shall doubtless return with joy with joy rejoicing. Is it all alike? All offering I wanted here. Go, so if you have an issue with God or somebody, please, you will sort it out. First, bring the giving. Amen. If you have an issue, Prophet Isaac, let it not affect your giving because you need that blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not even giving my time. You are joking. You will remain the way you are. You are entering the tribulation with laudation. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Say faith and increase. Faith and so this church had knocked out Jesus, kept the finances out, kept the prayer out kept their program out. Wherever they are planning, they are never putting Jesus. They are never putting a prayer time. They are never putting a, a reading time of the word. They are never putting the daily access. They just wake up. Hey, I'm late for two hours. You just go. Plan for it. Amen. Plan for it. God might have that access no matter the time comes. Hallelujah. Plan for it. Spend 30 seconds, 30 minutes, read it, understand what is God saying. Because laudation does not know the season. It will escape them. Look at this. Look at this now. Praise God. Amen. It says, To him who overcomes, I 
will grant to sit with me on my throne, as also I overcame and sat down with the Father, my Father in his throne. He was an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. So the Spirit is saying the words to the church. What does he say? He who does what? And previously, what does he say? Look at that. Verse number 21. To him who does what? Ah. He says, as I did what? So Jesus is very, very specific with the tenses. That means there are things you will overcome. You have to overcome. You have to win. You have to dominate. You have to reign over. You have to subdue. You have to be supreme and head over. The Lordation Church has to overcome. It is only that church that needs to overcome. Because Jesus overcame. You have to overcome. You have to overcome. I know the Bible says we are more than conquerors, but there is one thing you have to overcome. Because if you don't overcome, you will not sit with Jesus. The message for you says, please, you will not be at the high table. You will be like the prayer David made. I would rather be a doorkeeper. Please, don't be a doorkeeper. Sit with the temple of Jesus. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Some of you even can mock Paul, can mock Peter Paul. I mean, Apostle Paul, Apostle Peter. Yet the Bible says, Apostle Peter, his name will be at the foundation. Amen. Yesterday I told you, your name will be on the pillars of the wall. But the one holding it, I don't know if you're getting it. Yes, yes sir. Make you the treasure the scriptures and make them your reality. Speak in tongues, speak in tongues, speak in tongues, speak in tongues, so bad. You are the church of Philadelphia. That is the church that has the keys of David. Stand on your feet. Begin to pray. 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 Begin to declare. Ask God to give you victory. Ask God to give you strength. We have to talk the things. We have to take the things because we are going to the rapture period now. We are entering the rapture period.
Put your life in order. Listen to the word. Be blessed. Put some things in order. Get ready. What is coming? We are moving church. Let us not find you again that you are back to zero. Always be updated. Get things of the ministry. Take them serious. And be serious with God. Be serious with God. Take things serious. I'm telling you, God is waiting for someone who is seeking his face. To reveal himself a certain way. Don't listen to people's opinion. Even those in church, they will want to speak so much wisely. But remember, you don't have to listen to them. Listen to what God says. We only listen to one voice here. As a declaring, that's what God is saying. Any other thing that any man says in contradiction, in conspiracy, is not going to work. Are you listening to me? Everybody who comes against this voice, the Bible says, it will be crushed. You cannot go far. You cannot fight a ministry or a vision that is alive. And it will suck your vision which is dead. You only die with it. So please stay away from people. Stay away from Lukambo. Stay away from talking against men of God. Not only me, but even others. But of course, if you talk against your man of God, you have a big problem. You have a chica in your head. So stay away from people. Stay away from such people. I'm telling you, stay away from them. Because they will endanger your life. It will corrupt you. Stay away from them. That's the audacious of people's opinion. They pour ideas from the world. They pour ideas from ministries that have entered so much into the world. And they want to bring them in. They, we cannot accept that. Are you listening to me? So encourage people. Encourage them. Be a soldier of Jesus Christ. Be an evangelist of our time. Follow up. Encourage them. They must all make it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If I preach well, clap your hands with Jesus. Alright. So, so you must overcome in the name of Jesus. Get a hold of your offering. We're going to give in the house of God. Take everything serious. Don't wait for Prophet Isaac to tell you some things. If he has told you something, please, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Because the second reminder may not come. And if God is running fast, God is running fast. Amen. Lift up your offering. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you. We are blessed. We are the child that is moving forward. We are the child that has the keys of David. The door is open continually. And we thank you that the spirit of our death will not catch us. Thank you, Lord, for loving us. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Come and give. You are God from beginning to the end. There is no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God from beginning. Be serious. Focus your voice. Bring out the best. 
not just what comes out. Everyone speaking to Thank you. 